Well, this probably began in 1968 in an article written by Francis Crick about the origin of the genetic code. And in it, he, uh, he discussed the chicken or the egg problem, and that is that the ribosome, which is responsible for making proteins in all living organisms, uh, translating the genetic information in the messenger RNA into protein uh, is made itself of RNA and protein. Crick's question was, how could the first ribosome have evolved uh, if it itself needed proteins? And uh, uh, the chicken or the egg problem. And he asked is it possible that the first ribosomes were made purely of RNA? Um, and there was a further ramification to this, and that is that if life began with proteins, as many people had uh, speculated, uh, how would those proteins uh, continue without being replicated? Uh, proteins are incapable of self-replication, whereas nucleic acids, such as RNA and DNA, can replicate themselves. So you could imagine that if, if, the, if the first ribosomes were made purely of RNA, that RNA could have been replicated and continued on in life. And this is the basis of the RNA world hypothesis, that RNA came first. Uh, and this was a difficult problem at first because proteins are the functional molecules in life, or so we believed until relatively recently. And we discovered, many different groups discovered this in parallel using different approaches, that RNA is actually capable of biological function, not only carrying genetic information, but itself able to carry out biochemical reactions. Mm -hmm.